Right, welcome to the Ram Inn. This is the CPI's second investigation here. I'm just going to go and take you through a walk around the Ram so that you can see exactly what it is. What the top of the building is. So going through the side door. Hello. Sorry, George. All right. We'll go and do upstairs first. This is the staircase where the famous vortex photo was taken. It was in the paper there. As you can see, lots of press clippings on the walls. <clears throat> There's the ramp itself. And John pointed out to us, I don't know if you can pick it up on the camera, but on this stone there are little lines there and apparently it's used it was used by Romans uh, as a game some sort there's a piece of paper there about it this is called the Beaufort room but it's more commonly known as the witch's room or the honeymoon room See, we've got a camera in here recording. There's been quite a bit of activity in here over the few past few years, and it was in this room that John, the owner, got thrown out of bed. When we were here last time, I left my DVR voice recorder recording on the table there and uh, it was there that we got those 12 plinks and also the voice the French voice Um, after the room had been locked because obviously as you can see we have a rather large oak door and nobody can get in and out without that door being heard right so we proceed through here this is the den And as we come out here, you can see a couple of mummified rats that were found during renovations. And you can also see the wattle and daub construction method of the house itself. And you can see that in a couple of places. Also, as you can see, lots of press clippings on the wall about various investigations and things that had happened here. We have another camera there that's checking out the door of the witch's room. <coughs> now we'll carry on down here to probably which is the most famous one, the bishop's room. Now allegedly, many many years ago, the Bishop of Gloucester was staying here and about two o'clock in the morning he actually jumped out of bed uh, jumped out of the window and said that he was never ever coming back again and he would never stay in this most haunted and evil place. So, as you can see, we have another camera up here recording. And incidentally, this is the bed that Joe Swash stayed in when he spent the night here. This now going down into the toilet. We have another camera here. That's the toilet. You don't really want to see that. Behind here there's a load more stuff. 
and we are just over the top of John's living quarters. Unfortunately nobody can actually get in there, which is a real pity. <coughs> so that's the top floor. Then we have the attic, which we'll go up for. As you can see it's got a sign there saying mind your head. And it's because of uh, that beam there, which I didn't wind my head with and belted it earlier on. Right, so this is the attic. Uh, as you can see, it's absolutely amazing construction with the old oak beams and everything holding it all together. And I mean, that's been uh, that's been like that for a few years really has. Uh, that bit's a little bit cordoned off because I don't think you can actually get in there. This room here apparently used to be John's daughter's bedroom and uh, she had quite a few incidents up here where she'd be thrown out of bed and such like. There you can see the car park and the cars outside where we started from. So we'll go back down the stairs. Oh, winding our head. These are probably the most awkward stairs I think I've ever actually climbed down. So we'll go back down the staircase now. Staircase. And first we'll go through into the barn. This is the barn. Looks like David's getting ready to pull the camera down. So blurred, but mind. it was here that when John brought the place, there was no roof, so he actually brought the place, the roof, from an old farm and had it transferred over here. But when he got here, he found out that the roof was about four feet too, bar too big, so you can see where the old wall was, and they had to build this new cinder block wall. During the digging out of the foundations, they found some wood that was carbon dated to 500 BC, so some 1500 years ago, and it was worked wood, which meant that somebody had been living on the site for that time. I'm just come past, mate. Right, we're now going through the curtain and into the base room. cameras and monitors working. And then back out to the cars. And that's it. Um, hope you enjoy the walk around the ram. And uh, we'll see if we get anything when we get home. We'll check all the recordings and the video and everything like that. And then hopefully you'll have a little bit more to watch when you watch this video. Alright, thank you very much.
Okay, if you need, I only shut the door, Amanda. I didn't do anything special. I just just closed it. Okay, if you need, I only shut the door, Amanda. I didn't do anything special. I just just closed it. I just just closed it. I just just closed it. <laughs> 